What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Young Sheldon. Today we are continuing the journey with episode 6 entitled A Patch, A Modem, and A Zantac. I'm very excited to continue the journey uh, as we just watched episode 5. Some interesting things happened in that episode, specifically the end with Meemaw. What's going on? Who's that guy? What money is he after? What's going on? Are we going to find out in this episode? I don't know. I've been enjoying the show a lot. I love the family, the, the heartfelt family drama part. I love that part. So it's what makes it different from Big Bang Theory, and I really love it here. So we're going to jump into this episode, but I would like to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button and hit the bell so you get notified every time I'm dropping a new episode of Young Sheldon. Every Wednesday and Friday, you don't want to miss out on this fun journey, especially with it being in its final season right now on television. Exciting. Also, if you want to go get the full experience, watch the full length of this episode or any of the other episodes with me, Patreon's the place to go. Link is in the description. You don't want to miss out on the full length experience. Now, without further ado, let's get in to episode six of Young Sheldon. Let's go. My dear friend and former Arwen. college roommate is here from the Johnson Space Center in Houston to talk to us about our space program. How does one go on to be a, a fancy scientist at NASA and the others teaching freshman science at a public high school? One of those roomies was busy studying while the other was out chasing high school girls. Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Did you see the movie Aliens? I did. Did you think it was cool? Uh, sure, I enjoyed it. Me too. <laughs> I love how oblivious Georgie is. But you know what? Hey, it doesn't mean he's stupid. He's just asking a question. Yes. If you want to save money, why don't you land the booster rockets instead of letting them drop in the ocean? <laughs> That's a cute idea, but uh, it's not technically possible. Why not? Mm-hmm. Well... It's hard to explain. The math is pretty complicated. Perhaps I could help you with it. <laughs> I bet you could. You know, usually Sheldon's the one who's being a jerk, but in my opinion, that guy's being a jerk right now. Sheldon's trying to help. Like, what? up hold up that was clean when did they ever do that well they did it in the in the second episode when they had the 360 shot that showed the space like showed space and stuff in the cafeteria that was really cool though i like that do more of that young sheldon hello yes you can help me dorothy fitzpatrick i'm interested in taking out a second mortgage i'm nine years old why do you ask that's called age discrimination, Dorothy, but I'm willing to let it slide. <laughs> well, take me after dinner. Enough. I'm not taking you anywhere tonight. I'm not proud of it, but as a child, I was prone to the occasional meltdown. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. Sheldon, watch your mouth. Watch your profanity. I say no Radio Shack for at least a month. Sounds fair. I'll go tell him. I'd wait until him tomorrow. He's a little loopy right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's cut to Sheldon. I want to see him loopy. That'd be funny. Uh, well, keep him off spicy foods for the time being, and I'll write you a prescription for Zantac. Does he smoke? Of course not. He's nine. I started at his age, uh, but only when I drank. <laughs> oh, then that's okay, then. Right. Thanks, doctor. With my research complete and my ulcer on the mend, all that was left to do was send my work to NASA and wait to become America's scientific sweetheart. So I waited. And waited. It probably doesn't help that you wrote it in like a school journal that they give to kids. That probably didn't help. Those people at NASA never responded to his science stuff. Damn it. I've had enough of this. Sheldon, get up. What's the point? We're going to Houston. Really? Yeah. You and me are going to give those space monkeys a little talking to. 
<laughs> I often found my cool. father to be a strange and puzzling man, but at that moment, I never loved him more. I love Sheldon and his dad's relationship. That might be my favorite relationship amongst the family. I love it. Let's go to the ostrich farm. Cool. We can ride them and then we can eat them. We're not stopping anywhere. We're going to eat. What? Georgie, no. What? Ride them and then eat them? No. <laughs> oh, God, it's on my shoes. It's on my shoes. For Pete's sake, somebody open a window. Ew. Now that's when you got to pull over and, and as gross as it is to say, sc start scooping. Scoop it out. That's disgusting. So what do you want to do? No, I guess we just got to be patient and wait. Ah, oh, screw it. Excuse me, sir. You can't just... All right, here's the deal. Huh. Our kid's got a damn ulcer because of you. So either you take him seriously or you're going to be taking me seriously. <laughs> I love this guy. Yes, sir. Janice, why don't you send the little boy in <laughs> right away? <laughs> yeah, dub for Sheldon's dad. I love Sheldon's dad. Now, Missy's still my favorite character, but he might be my third favorite because you got to give Sheldon, you know, second place. Sheldon's dad, I love him. He's great. You've been in there quite a while. Well, if the topic is science, he can be a real chatty patty. I'm bored. Me too. Hey, someday somebody's going to write a book about Sheldon. Don't you want there to be a chapter about how loving and supportive you two were? Doesn't matter. I ain't reading it. <laughs> that was a great line. I love that. That was hilarious. I thought you might want to apologize. Why? You tried to shut me up with a patch. While your math is, is theoretically correct, we don't have the technical capability to execute it. <laughs> so I'm ahead of my time. It would appear so. <laughs> All right, call me when you catch up. We're real proud of you, honey. Are you proud of me and Dorothy? Of course. You bet. For what? <laughs> Don't go poking at it. <laughs> The writing for Georgie has been on point this episode. I like it. April 8th, 2016? Elon for Musk's incredible time, milestone. SpaceX has successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Huh. That's Sheldon's Elon, journal. Uh, CNN reporters here to talk to you. Hang on. Send him in. So that was Young Sheldon season one, episode six, and it was a very fun episode. Was it my favorite episode? I don't I don't think so, no, but I, I did really enjoy this one. I thought, you know, with that one episode a couple episodes back, I felt had problems balancing the humor and the seriousness of it. I felt this episode was another great example of really a perfect balance between having comedic moments and some drama moments, because you had Sheldon's dad sticking up for Sheldon, which I love that relationship so much. Even though Sheldon's dad's probably my third favorite character. And well, I have to reevaluate at some point here because when it comes to who's my favorite character, I, I know Missy's my favorite character still and no, one, no one's passed her yet. I do really like Sheldon, of course. And uh, I like Tam a lot as well. So Tam is up there too. In terms of how relationships go, I really like the relationship between Sheldon and his dad. It's one of my favorites. You have that in the episode, which I really like. You have the drama of Sheldon knowing he's right about something, or at least pretty sure he's right about something. Well, it showed he was right about it. And people just overlooking him because he's a kid. Like, you know, a lot of people in this world can be underestimated a lot. And then they go on to do great things. The one thing that I couldn't get over and couldn't get out of my head the whole episode was Sheldon's this smart at this young of an age. And yes, he's smart in Big Bang Theory, but like he never does anything in Big Bang Theory that that ends up coming through like this did with the rocket. So I'm like, how did that happen? Did he go from being like really smart to not? Like what would, I don't know what happened in, in uh, Big Bang Theory. I guess he had some big, big breakthroughs in that show. So I really enjoyed the episode. I thought the little jabs of comedy here and there were really well done, especially from Georgie. I thought that was really good. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell so you get notified every time. I'm dropping a new episode of Young Sheldon every Wednesday and Friday. 
And if you want the full experience watching the full episode with me, you can go check it out on my Patreon page linked in the description below. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you next week with Movie Man Monday and more Young Sheldon and Smallville. That's a wrap. Woo! I am on break. I'm gonna live like a king by doing my thing. Hey, I am on break. I'm gonna live life free. I'm gonna do it like me. Yeah, yeah. I am on break. No, this is not fake. I'm just chilling on break.